For the great people of our country, this is a very sad day. September 11th represents great sorrow for our country. Many things were displayed that day, including, most importantly, the bravery of our police, fire, and first responders of every kind. The job they did was truly unbelievable. We love them and we thank them. It is also a sad time for the way our war on those that did such harm to our country ended last week. The loss of 13 great warriors and the many more who were wounded should never have happened. Overall, 250 people were killed in Afghanistan last week, and so many more were seriously injured. We had $85 billion of the finest and most sophisticated military equipment taken from us without even a shot being fired. The leader of our country was made to look like a fool, and that can never be allowed to happen. It was caused by bad planning, incredible weakness, and leaders who truly didn't understand what was happening. This is the 20th year of this war and should have been a year of victory and honor and strength. Instead, Joe Biden and his inept administration surrendered in defeat. We will live on, but sadly, our country will be wounded for a long period of time. We will struggle to recover from the embarrassment this incompetence has caused. Do not fear, however, America will be made great again.